Welcome back fellow creators, in today's video we are diving into the fascinating world of 3D modeling and exploring a powerful technique, displace. With this technique, we'll unleash our creativity and transform a simple wall into a stunning masterpiece. Get ready to embark on a journey where imagination meets precision. Together, we'll learn how to use the displace tool to sculpt intricate ornament designs that will breathe life into our virtual spaces. So grab your artistic spirit and let's unlock the hidden potential of our 3D canvas. Alright, let's get closer to this ornament design and I'm gonna delete this and let's start this design from scratch, okay? Now let's go to the modeling mode and the first step is to create a rectangle and I'm gonna set the width and depth on 150 and set the subdivisions to one tenth of the dimensions and it would be 15. And let's place this rectangle on the wall and let me just move it from this gizmo and it seems fine to me. And let's click on the accept. And now it is time to reset the triangle. So in the mesh OPS or mesh operations section, let's select the remesh tool and I'm gonna set the target triangles on 1500 and the reason to do that is to have enough triangles to get the better results in order to smooth and displacement so let's go to the deform section and click on the deform tool and let me just enlarge this area to see better the parameters that we're going to work with them so as you can see the displacement type is on parallel noise by default and we're not going to cover it in this session so let's just change it to texture 2d map and by doing that, we can introduce a displacement map in the options section. And this is the map that I've downloaded. And this is a typical displacement map, which the pixels on it varies between black to white. And in these maps, the pixels with brighter colors are going to have higher heights and vice versa, the pixels with darker values are going to have lower heights. So let's just assign this texture to the displacement map, simply drag it on, and you can see the design on the rectangle that we have. But we have a problem here, and that is the protrusion which placed beyond the rectangle. And the reason for this phenomena is the nature of the displacement map. And as I explained to you, we got some darker spots and brighter spots on the displacement map, which leads to these bumps. But we have a problem solver parameter here, and that is the displace intensity. And as you can see, I can control the protrusion and bumpness. And when I set it to the minus, for example, 10, I am able to have the protrusion in this side of the rectangle, and this is pretty cool. And by increasing this subdivisions parameter, we are able to have kind of more smooth protrusions and bumps on this design and everything seems fine for now. So I'm gonna click on the accept and it may take a while to create and save the displacement that you've created. So let's wait for it. And all right, now it is time to assign the walls material to this displacement ornament design. So as you can see, I have simply dragged the material of the wall on this design and let's move it a bit backside just like that and it seems really really cool but i think it might be better to make it a bit large by the scale tool for example like this and let's move it a bit backside again and there you have it fellow artists and designers we have reached to the end of our creative adventure with the displace technique. I hope this video has inspired you to push the boundaries of your imagination and experiment with new possibilities in the world of 3D modeling. Remember, the power to transform ordinary objects into extraordinary works of art lies within your hands. So go forth, embrace your artistic journey, and let your creations leave a lasting impression. Thank you for joining me today. And until next time, keep sculpting your dreams into reality.